All right, what's going on, YouTube? This is Box Wave. We have Anthony Joshua fighting Dillian White. It's not going to be a long video, okay? We already know about the amateurs, Dillian White beat Anthony Joshua there uh, when they both pretty much started fighting, okay? Um, Anthony Joshua went on to become an Olympic gold medalist. Dillian White didn't really fight as an amateur for too long. Took a couple years off because he uh, tested positive for a PDD and he was suspended. And, you know, he's come back. He's been on a roll, winning fights. Both fighters are undefeated. Both of them have a huge knockout ratio. And this is both their first test, in my opinion. Both of them, okay? Neither one of them have been really tested. A lot of people feel that Kingpin Kevin Johnson was a test for Anthony Joshua. I really didn't think so. I thought Kevin Johnson was just a guy that's been in there with Klitschko. Um, he's been in there with a lot of top heavyweights, but he hasn't really beaten any of them, you know, for the most part. And, you know, just because a guy uh, survived against Klitschko and never been knocked out or never been down, I really didn't think that was a, a test for Joshua, you know, just because a guy had never been knocked down. You know, he hasn't fought... He's fighting a young fighter with knockout power that is extremely big, much bigger than himself. And Anthony Joshua went in there, did what he had to do. He got him out of there early, first round, uh, second round stoppage, I think. Uh, so anyway, um, neither one of these fighters have faced an opponent as good. I thought this fight was going to happen maybe a year or two down the line. I'm very surprised it's happening this early uh, I think both of these guys want to fight each other because they just want to get it over with at this point. You know, all the talk and the back and forth. Both of them was in Klitschko's camp that one fight, I believe. I forgot which fight it was for, but um, I think maybe for the pool left fight, both of them were in uh, Klitschko's camp. And, you know, they just they just need to get it on and get it over with. You know, and I'm not really that mad because honestly, just the way I see it. I really, I'm really not that impressed with Dillian White, okay? I'm not impressed, that impressed with Anthony Joshua. I want to see a little bit more before I start saying he should fight the Klitschko's or the other top fighters in a division, okay? I think he is skillful. Um, he does have Olympic gold medalists. I think he's definitely by far more well-rounded than Dillian White, okay? And I think he has a future, but... I still want to see him develop. You know, I do want to see him develop, even with all his knockouts and everything. I want him to get tested. I want him to go 12 rounds. I haven't seen that yet, so I want that in both of these fighters. Okay, but with Dillian White, <coughs> I'm not really that impressed with him. <coughs> um, Excuse me. Outside of his body punching ability, which he usually gets his stoppages from, I really don't really think he has that much talent. I don't think he's that well-rounded. I was watching his last fight with Brian Mental, you know, and even though he got the stoppage in the third round, I, I didn't think he looked that good. You know, I, I think he... I see a lot of mistakes there. He does not look comfortable fighting backwards, okay? Brian Mento is a much smaller guy, may I add, much, much smaller guy, was able to, able to push him backwards. And he looked very unbalanced. Uh, very look. Uh, I'm talking about Aunt, uh, Dillian White here. Very unbalanced. Um, he got hit a lot. Got tagged a lot. Um, he just looked very clumsy to me. You know, I I just don't. I think he definitely needs space, but he's not really good at controlling the distance for a guy that has long arms. I don't think he's really that good at at, at being a rangy fighter. You know. Um, and I think that's something Anthony Joshua is going to be able to capitalize on, okay? Anthony Joshua is a better... Um, Brian Mental was actually mint, like mixing it up well with Dillian White. And it was pretty entertaining for the, the short period of time that it was. I mean, we all know Dillian White won that fight with a stoppage. But I, I just wasn't impressed with him, you know? And I've seen his other fights. And like I said before, I made a video comparing... Uh, Dillian White, Joshua, and Joseph Parker. He was my least favorite out of the three. You know, I think he's not really that well-rounded. You know, 
there's nothing there even from a defensive standpoint that makes me think he's that talented. And I think Anthony Joshua is going to knock him out. I think he's going to be easy for an easy target for Anthony Joshua um, from the outside. And unless Joshua has an extremely weak chin or can't take body shots and Dillian White is able to really engage and go at him. And even if they were to engage and exchange blows with each other, I think Anthony Joshua still has the advantage, almost every advantage in this fight. Outside of the body punching, um, Dillian White definitely has that advantage. Um, but, you know, I mean, who knows? Maybe Anthony Joshua has a weak chin. You know, maybe something that we haven't seen at, on a professional standpoint. Maybe something could be exposed in this fight, you know, because they're both so young in their career. But from what I've seen, Anthony Joshua has this fight in, in the bag to me. I think Anthony Joshua is going to get a knockout and we can move on from this and see where we can place Anthony Joshua from here. And you know what? And it's funny, even if he were to win this fight in impressive fashion, I still kind of want to see Anthony Joshua fight a couple of better guys before fighting like a top top 10 heavyweight you know top five top 10 heavyweight you know there's still plenty of guys out there before he gets a championship type fight but that's just my opinion all right and if Dillian White is to win this fight the same with him you know because I'm just not impressed with him yet but I had Anthony Joshua winning this fight by knockout I think he's gonna be um, it could possibly go. I think this is going to go later rounds than most Anthony Joshua fights. Uh, but I think this is going to be, you know, I still think this is going to be a knockout at some point. You know, I think Anthony Joshua is going to be able to outpoint him and hurt him at some point and really rough and really fight with this guy. You know, and I don't think Dillian White backing up, he's not going to know what to do. Dillian White is usually the bigger guy of most of the fighters he's fought. And um, he's not going to be the bigger guy. Anthony Joshua is by far at this point, even since he's he's grown a quite bit since they fought in the amateurs. I mean, if you go back and watch that fight, Anthony Joshua was taller, but, you know, he was like lanky, where now he's like brolic. He looks like the Hulk right now. I think Anthony Joshua wins this fight by knockout at some point. I say at, in some, at some point in the second half of this fight, eighth, ninth round, I think Anthony Joshua is going to stop him. He might even be earlier than that, all right? That's just my opinion. But anyway, make sure you guys subscribe and look out for more videos to come. Peace.